What's up guys and welcome back to the Station Bakery. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make delicious and refreshing juice bombs using Kool-Aid. Just a disclaimer, if you actually follow the actual instructions on the back of the Kool-Aid pack, this video might not be for you. Let's get to it. To make our shells, we'll be using one cup of sugar, one third cup of corn syrup, and two tablespoons of water. Pour all of the ingredients into a heat proof pot and then mix together on medium heat until all of the sugar has dissolved. Once dissolved, increase the heat and cook the mixture until the temperature reaches 300 degrees. Remove from the heat and then add in any colorings or flavorings. Always take precautions when working with hot sugar by wearing protective gloves and other protective garments. Any food coloring will work. To add a bit of glitz, I am adding in some edible glitter. Please make sure that whatever glitter that you are choosing to use is FDA approved and edible. Working with sugar can be a bit tricky because it does set pretty quickly, so you will need to work quickly and carefully. Add more mixture to fill in any holes if necessary. There's no need to freeze or refrigerate because the mixture will set pretty quickly on its own. Once set, pop out the shells by gently pulling them away from the mold while pressing upwards. This is the best way that I find to remove the shells without causing any cracking. Now we have a beautiful candy shell ready for our juice bombs heat up a hot pan and then use it to melt down the first half of the shell heat the shell until you have completely perfect and even edges I will be using cherry flavored kool-aid for these juice bombs the kool-aid recipe says to use two tablespoons of their kool-aid mix for every one and a half cups of water However, like I said in the beginning, for mine, I'll be doing it differently. So instead of two tablespoons, I am using four tablespoons per bomb. This is going to cause a richer flavor and the sugar from the sugar shells is going to add just the perfect sweetness. Always feel free to adjust to your preference. This is just how we prefer ours. Adhere the top shell to the bottom shell, ensuring that it is completely sealed all the way around. You don't want any of your filling to leak out. They are absolutely gorgeous. I am making a large batch for myself, so I am adding three cups of water versus the regular one and a half cups. For best results, use hot water. And now for the fun, drop your bomb into the water. As you can see, the change is almost instant. Now for the second one. Your shells will need a little bit of time to dissolve within the water. Just use your spoon to stir it around. This will also help prevent it from sticking to the bottom of your glass. We absolutely love finding different ways to spend time with our family and do fun things. And this is just another thing to add to our list of enjoyment. Once the shells have completely dissolved, top it off with a few pieces of ice. Stir and enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure that you give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. And as always, until next time, peace.